I'm gonna show you how you can use split screen multitasking on your iPhone without the need to be jailbroken. So let's just begin with the video right now. What's up everybody, how has your day been? And in this video, as you can notice, I want to talk about the, this method, how you can use two applications at the very same time on any iPhone. The reason why I'm making this video is because the previous video I made was about the iPad and the multitasking on the iPad, and I realized that this option is only on the iPads and even not on every single iPad. So how can you get this on your iPhone? And this is the best thing, the best way how you can get two applications running at the very same time on the iPhone. If this is your first time seeing my hand on your screen then you should click the subscribe button because you will never miss a new video and you will always be updated with the latest information about the Apple products. It doesn't work the way you are used to on the iPad, there isn't like list of apps that are optimized for this, but you can only use some specific apps or some specific websites for this, but still it is better than nothing. So let's take a look at it, and the way it works is based on this application. You have to download it from the App Store, the link will be found in the description if you want to check it out. So basically this is an app which is called Splitware, and now you probably know what that is. So as you can see, I'm having two pages at the very same time open on my iPhone. But to go back, I need to show you this is the main interface. By the way, it is optimized for the iPhone 10, so it's gonna use the entire screen. That is a very good thing because the iPhone 10 has a very tall display, and with this you can really use every single pixel. So you basically have these options. So these are like the prepared options that you can pick. So there is this eBay and Amazon that I have showed you, so you can compare the prices of one product. And there is Google Maps, there is Instagram and Twitter, there is Google and Facebook, there is just Google or YouTube, and there is this S option. But let me show you what it looks like when I click on the Instagram and Twitter, because these are very popular social media, so let's take a look at it. So now, as you can see, the screen has been divided into two parts. In the upper part, and when it will load up, we can see that we have the Instagram, and under it, we have Twitter. So you have the option to use Instagram and Twitter at the very same time, which is a very nice way how you can use the big display on the iPhone 10 and any other iPhone as well. But the toggle that you're gonna be using the most will probably be the Google one, because Google is, you know, like at the first sight, it may not appear like you're gonna be using Google all the time, but when you click on Google, you have the option to open any website. So it's gonna behave like a browser that can be split into two windows, so it's gonna be useful for many people. So yeah, you basically have the option to check out any website while checking out your email or whatever else you decide to do with this. But as you can see, it works really well, it should be really reliable, but sometimes you're gonna be able to encounter an ad which is really annoying. Like you can turn off the Wi-Fi and the ads will not appear, but if you're using web browser this is probably not a good idea. What's really great about this app is, let's say you want to use one window and the entire screen. So let's say you want to use the email on the entire front panel. So you have to click on this arrow at the bottom and as you can see you have email on the entire page. And if you want to have this other website you can click this and once again and as you can see you have Apple's website on the entire screen which is really useful. So that's why I like this. The next option you have is to use it for social media and when you want to do that you need to click on this S icon and now you can choose, as you can see, this is the ad I was talking about, so you have to click on the X. But anyways, you here from the upper icons, you're gonna choose the app that's gonna appear in the upper portion of the screen. And from this icons, you're gonna choose the app that will appear down on the screen. So let's say I want to use Facebook and Instagram at the very same time, so I'm gonna go like this and wait until it loads up, and as you can see, I have Instagram and Facebook on one screen. The application I'm talking about is of course free, but there are some alternatives to this, so if you can take a look at this, this one is called the divider, but this one doesn't work that well. As you can see, if I open it up, it's not optimized for the iPhone X, so we have this black bars at the top and at the bottom, which means that we are not using the entire screen. You also have this blue part, which is in a way, and there is nothing which you can do with this. It doesn't work that well, and but the Splitware has to be the best application with this purpose, so that's why I would recommend you to download it. As you can see, it is optimized for the iPhone X and for the 3D Touch as well, and the way it works is really great. But if you want to use it for YouTube and browsing the web at the very same time, keep in mind that you have to uninstall the classic YouTube app that you have downloaded to your iPhone, because if you don't do it, this is what's gonna happen if you try to play video using this app. So you click and you're gonna be redirected to the YouTube app, 
which is not something you want and that's why you need to delete it but it's not such a big deal but I just have to tell you this so that my friends would be the end of this video I really hope you enjoyed it and I just really hope that you found this video useful please let me know down below in the comments what you think about this app and if you're gonna be using it because I just really want to know what people think about this type of stuff I just want to say thank you very much for watching until the end I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like to let me know that you liked it and also subscribe for more content like this and make sure you will never miss a new video when I post it. So see you in the next video guys, peace out.